when you're ready to deploy your Android app for the first time using React Native and Expo, the process is pretty simple. If you look in there in my history on my terminal on uh, Visual Studio here, you see that we just built the iOS version. So we're just going to change this command to Android. And we're publishing on the uh, staging release channel because this is going to be like our beta app for internal client. So you would change that release channel to production or whatever if you're developing a release version of the app. So we'll just go ahead and build that. And it's it, this is the first time we built it. So it's going to ask us some questions. And we're just going to select uh, the default. For iOS, there's some more channels, or excuse me, more questions. I think that might be it for Android. Um, and it does take a while for the app to build. So I'm going to pause this. Okay, so once that's built, you'll see a little success message here. And then all you do is command click on there to follow the instructions. And it's going to download the app right right there for you. It's in our downloads. Then uh, I've already opened up the Google Play console here. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new application. And basically it's going to walk us through the stuff we need uh, in order to submit this for testing. So um, uh, we're, we're only um, submitting this for internal beta testing right now. So we'll come up with this. We'll add this later. Um, we're going to have to add assets. So the only thing it needs is a high res icon and a feature graphic. So I'm going to pause this and make those real quick. Okay, I created those icons, so I'm just not going to upload them. Again, this doesn't really matter right now because it's just a just going in for um, uh, testing. So they'll make you submit a privacy policy before it goes in the app store. But uh, since we're just doing this in private beta, we shouldn't need to do that. Um, we need to do the con, excuse me, a content rating. Uh, so we go here. Oh, we have to upload an APK. So let's go to, um, want to add a beta actually I think we want to go with an alpha um, close testing yep that's right um, da, 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 da. internal test track I've never tried that one we'll try this one okay so that's what we're gonna do this is the most closed one. So uh, continue. And then we're going to find our APK that we downloaded. It should be right there. App without your request. Okay, 
Uh, so they're required to have a po privacy policy. So that's what it's saying. We need to have a privacy policy. So going back here, well, this is just going to be free. Uh, no. No, it does not contain ads right now. Yes, yes. Save draft. You should be able to get the content rating now. You put in your email address for the one for the person filling it out. Uh, oops. No. No. Wait, hold on a second. I think I did the wrong one. Oh, yeah, I did. So it's not working. That's what I meant to do. Oh, come on. So it's not working. No. 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 Uh, the purchasing digital goods. No. Calculate rating. Apply rating. And at one point, we're going to have to figure out how to make this available, restrict the age limit on it, but we don't have to do that right now. Um, let's see what we have here. We had to put in a privacy policy URL. So uh, we're going to put in one of our other privacy policy URLs. just to get them happy with us right now. Um, they filled in everything else that they, they want on the store listing. Oops. And so then we're gonna go here. And then we're gonna add the people that we want to test and they should get an email address and they could they should just be able to download it right away and that should be it um, so that's how you create that's how you release an app on Android for internal testing um, we'll go forward with like beta testing and then release when we get there so but I, I can just show you so you just create the list and you say like internal testers and then you just type in the email addresses you want right there which I can get those, let's see. Well, I'm actually not gonna get those because I don't wanna give away email addresses. So then you click save and you're good to go. But it would look like, here, tester at gunnertech.com, save. Uh, invalid email address. Tester user needs a Google account, which it is a Google account. I wonder if, Okay, so, okay, it just checks to actually see if that tester didn't have an actual internal account. So we should be good to go. Then you just click save. And then that is pretty much it. Then they'll, they'll get a URL to download it and you're good to go.